really don't think it matters which one I start with. They're all going to turn down pretty much the same. The ones that I'm the most worried about are the ones that have the large brass tube with very little room to turn down. Uh, that's where I could run into the have the most problem. And uh, on this one here where there's the burl, I remember, or maybe you will remember, that when I was gluing it up, well, I didn't do a real, real good job. Now, at the ends, it's okay. However, maybe in the middle here, it's not actually adhering to the brass tube. In other words, there may not even be any glue in there. Or very little. Anyway, this is the one that scares me the most. And this was the hardest to do because I had to use the cactus juice process on it. And I don't want to have to do another one. Anyway, I think I'll start on the on these ones here. Okay, give it a whirl. Oh, I can see a problem already. I'm going to have to put a spacer in here. Now, you probably recall in an earlier episode, I had accidentally touched the chisel right there. So, I'll just move it out a little bit. And hopefully, I'm not going to do that again. There. Well, there's two things. I'm always amazed at how much water this stone absorbs, especially if I haven't used it for a while. And, uh, I'm guessing probably a, about a liter or a quart. And second thing is, I think there's something wrong with this stone. It seems to be a little bit extra coarse right in the center here. It's almost as though it was a bad pour when they uh, poured the uh, this thing into the mold. At least I think that's the way they do it. And uh, yeah. I noticed it before, like about two, three months ago. So I refaced it with a little diamond uh, refacing tool. I've only done, I had to do it twice. It was the second time and it took, it brought it back into perfect round. And I thought that might get rid of the, uh, whatever it is right here in the center. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll bring the camera in a little closer and uh, we'll have a close look at this and just see what the surface actually looks like. Now you can't really notice anything, but you can hear it. I can hear it on the uh, tool when I'm when I'm on the side here. It's it feels nice and smooth, sounds nice and smooth. Get in the center, it sounds kind of raspy and gritty. I I can almost feel it on the tool. Well, I don't know. Let's see if I can get in a little closer. Well, I moved right into the center here, probably only showing about an inch across. Is there anybody out there in YouTube land that actually knows? You know, maybe he's had experience with uh, manufacturing these things? Is there something wrong with this stone? Or is there something wrong with me? <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, you hear that? I got to admit, though, it comes out razor sharp. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to clip out this little segment on the Tormac sharpener problem and I'm going to send it to Tormac Canada. Hopefully somebody that actually knows is going to view it, not a fast talking salesman. And we'll see if they get back to me and I'll let you know what happens. I have at least 10 strips of each type of sandpaper there starting out at 150 through to 1000. I'm probably not going to be using the 150 and I probably won't be using the 1000. But I'll start out at 220 and it probably end up at 600. Anyway. Well, we're going to start out with the monkey wood. And I'm going to use my scraper and turn it down almost to the bushings and then sand the rest of the way. And uh, I found that if I don't turn a piece down as much as I can with the tool and if I rely on sandpaper to take it down it will sometimes get a little bit out of round. Reason for that I think is because you will have softwood then hardwood then softwood then hardwood and uh, of course it's going to remove the soft a lot faster and uh, anyway I think you know what I'm talking about here. And we're going to start out I think it's around 1800 rpm Give it a whirl here. Okay, 1900. Now in my exuberance to start turning here, I forgot to move the lathe back closer to the intake where the uh, dust goes in and, and also underneath the plexiglass cover there. So yeah, I'm going to have to do that before I start on the next blank, that's for sure. Anyway. Anyway. 